Today in the meeting, we had a detailed presentation given by the government of Assam on six of the areas of the differences that are there out of 12. The strategy which both the state governments have agreed to follow is to take up these matters in a phase-wise manner. So there are areas which are slightly lesser complicated, some slightly more, and some very complicated. So therefore, we would like to resolve these issues by taking the disputes or the areas of differences in a phase-wise manner. In the interest of ensuring that it's done in a much faster manner, we have also decided that there will be regional committees that will be formed by both the states, which will be headed by a cabinet minister. So we have three regions where these six areas of differences fall in. So in these three regions, we have three committees from Meghalaya and three committees from Assam. And both will be headed, or I should say both sides will be headed, each committee will be headed by one cabinet minister. And uh, we have decided also that uh, we will focus on number one, historical facts. Number two, ethnicity. Number three, administrative convenience. Number four, willingness and the overall uh, uh, sense of the people's sentiments, and number five, contiguity. Based on these five uh, areas or uh, these five terms, we will try to find a way forward. And we have urged these committees to submit their reports and their findings after making joint visits uh, to the uh, different areas and locations within the next 30 days. Through this method, we are on not going to redraw the boundary, but basically we are going to remove the raw, remove you can say, or you can align your perception. You are going to align your perception on those villages, on those land. But if in the process any redrawing is necessary, then of course you have to send it to the government of India because under the constitution, if at all after the deliberation any redrawn will be necessary, then it will be done only by the parliament of India.